from the 12th of the second month of 1442. King of Pentacles and Four of Swords reversed with the Ace of Wands between. Nature dives into some dark and fiery realms. The choice is so stark that the animals stand in awe and the plants are laid bare before me in our source sun. Thrice prepared by what I've won. I am so focused on my plans that I don't see the whole course before me. So, you've shared, but can you return from retreating into different worlds with a self-resiliency? The conceptual can take us past the stands of ultimate failure to being a radical driving force of spirituality. Can you see beyond the material overtures or are you lost in inflexibility? I've, uh, I've picked up some things that have come to mind. Um, I see the earth, um, the plants, uh, something about uh, perhaps the plants are more endangered than the animals. Um, something that's in sight and very visible. Um, and divisions in spirituality um, where there's so much misinformation, um, you know, on spirituality, uh, it can become it can make somebody, you know, confused or be misled. So I, I, I definitely feel uh, uh, divisions in spirituality, and there's like divisions in everything among people and spirituality, any subject really. And so, okay, let me, you know, I, I should be able to just hold it up here and, and get it and get it perfect, but it's, it never does. Always likes to disappear on you. Um, yeah, playing hide so, and seek. <laughs> there it the is. Ace, the Ace of Wands, I guess, was sort of the centerpiece to this, not only because it was in the middle there, um, but, so you have the leaves falling, and how many leaves are falling? Eight leaves? Okay, typically you would have like 10 or something like this that lets you know that the ace is related to the other 10 cards. Mm -hmm. But, so it's like the true will. It's very fiery and you got the, you got the moon off to the side because one of the things that's good to do with a wand is to have a positive and negative, a solar, lunar, male, fe female, something like that as on the wand. So having a moon off to the side there is a good thing. But you got the animal force and mm -hmm. the, the plant force in full, in full swing. But the rocky mm -hmm. cliff, of course, you got the mineral world going on there. Yeah. Yeah, that card is where I saw it came to me that the plants being in more danger than the animals. You know, they, there's a lot of talk about endangered species of animals, but, um, you know, do you ever hear anything about endangered plant species? Well, Maybe most, that, most you know. definitely, which, which reminds yeah. a person, um, both in my, both in the posts that I put, that I, that I put online, with a picture of my, I'm, I'm taking pictures of the candles and stuff that I'm going to do, use in my seasonal. And one of the things that's, it's not real mahogany people. I don't have illegal wood to, to burn and something that's, that's well, I mean, what's, what's, that, what's that going to accomplish for me, right? Um, <laughs> but the, um, okay. But yeah, well, it, it, it has a similar smell, I guess, is the idea, and it contains sort of the symbolism. And I, I like how on different decks, you're, 
you get like a different impression with some of these cards. <laughs> you know, you know, the King of Pentacles here. He's not so much, you don't so much get the agriculture sort of idea, but I guess since there's like a bird and a boar's head and stuff, he's the feasting mm -hmm. king. This mm -hmm. dude, this dude's like the feasting king. You see that? Yeah. Like he, he's, 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 he's got his, he got his, his glut, uh, he, he got his not so good choice of meat, but it's a nice fatty, rich sort of thing. Um, and he, he's just sitting there satiated at his, at his banquet. A meal fit for a king. <laughs> but, but he's, he's still got his, he's still got his, uh, well, he's got Holly or something. So I guess he's like, a he, he's like almost like a December sort of character, right? Right. Because they right. cook up, uh, you know, from from November to uh, to uh, November and December are are sort of the months for cooking up the I boars can, and stuff like that. I can see it. Dark months in that card. Yeah, the dark months. Uh, uh, November, December, January, maybe February, and that's where I picked up the feeling oh, you, of. You, you see, you see the hall of uh, the 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 hollies already to. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so the other the other card that's next that's that's next to that there is um, the four of swords. The swords. Now is it is it swords that could mean air or wands? Wands. Well, swords is typically given the air. And the wands are given the fire. Okay. That's so fine. earth, air, and uh, I, I mean, uh, yeah, earth, fire, and air are the elements being shown here. Yeah. But yeah, combination. Okay, four of swords. Where would four of swords be? Okay, be with where would the threes are. So, mm -hmm. not December. It would be April. April, yeah. Yeah, the middle, would, of, the middle of April would be the three, four, and five. May would be the six, seven, eight of the, uh, of the disc. Um, but yeah, you see, you see his attitude there. So he needs mm -hmm. one, but he's using the one to acquire others. Um, the fours are always pretty much a, a, a rather positive card in the mix, um, and of and of course uh, to 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 reiterate, what we um, this is being I mean it's going to be released three months from now I think or something like that, uh, but so it's June, so June would be the hierophant. It's a Wednesday, so that would be the magician. And the season, of course, would be the the judgment or the last angel or whatever. What what I don't know, remember what it's called in this deck, but you know what I mean. It's the it's the sh or the and that sort of card. Um, and so, what else would we, what else would we have? We would have um, so it's the fifteenth. So it's, it's, it's the middle of the month. It's the middle of the month. So this would be the 10th. This would be the 10 of wands. So you'd have the 10 of wands there. You'd have the ace and the princess of wands. You'd have the king of wands. Which makes it very, very strong in its own suit, right? You know, like everything's in wands. Um, yeah. Because sometimes that's not sometimes it's not the case. Sometimes it doesn't line up quite like that. But, um, Can the ace? Uh, when I think of just the ace, can that be like new starts? Could that represent new starts or or relate to something to a new yeah, start? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it could be the start because you know you go from one to ten, and it's not all just 
here's the whole package. Sometimes it's, well, here's starts the package. You know, here's just gotcha. not anything specific about that category. This is just, we're talking about the category now. Okay. You know, you're talking about, you know, economic things. You're talking about okay. uh, political things. Because the swords aren't necessarily only like military. It's like anything political, I would think. Anything intellectual. And then, okay. you, uh, then, uh, then you know. Um, I had, uh, I'd started on this book. Uh, I'm just on chapter three, but um, I, I'm liking it so far. It's uh, a practical guide to modern magic. And on chapter three starts the um, a chapter about tarot. So I've just begun to read that. Um, Which reminds me, I, if, I, if I hadn't shared it, I have, I have a reprint of, uh, um, of Mather's book on tarot, and I should probably read that at some point if I haven't put it on the channel, because that's obviously old enough. Anybody that was, uh, was, was arguing off with Crowley and stuff like this was obviously somebody that their stuff's in public domain. So. <laughs> it, it mentions the tarot card wild i think it was so yeah um I'll yeah that's that's what's going on with the with the full uh, you know you have the crown and you have wisdom mm -hmm. and knowledge and um mercy and severance and and it's yeah um, and, I'm, you know yeah. severity and you have our our the Arabs would say sabr. You know, so sabr is, is like, it's patience and it's steadfastness mm -hmm. and consistency and stuff like this. So it's really the Venus thing together like that. Um, mm -hmm. Then you have the splendor and then you have the foundation and, and then you have the kingdom. Um, and some people say, well, you're automatically on. And some people say, no, you stop. You're even lower than the, the kingdom. Because I kind of think of that too. It's if you're just, if you're just, if you're de if you despiritualize yourself, then you're obviously lower than the lower. You know, you're not quite at the bottom level, and you can kind of think of the climb up. It's like okay, you start your work. This nonsense that you have to get all the other stuff, and it's like oh, until you get your and uh, your finances and stuff together, don't even get start. No, do it, do it, do it, do a little bit of it all. That's uh, don't 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 wait to get your spiritual life until you're sort of financially whatever. Now I understand right. like, like a Sufi orders, my, like uh, like some of the Sufi orders, you might want to get more acquainted with the basics of religion before you go off and join some thing where they read poetry and, and dance and, and go into techniques. There's more yeah. important things than, than, how, and, than getting high without drugs, as awesome as that can be. Um, but, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, you, know, you know, so you start with this creed and then you work into prayers and rich or whatever you want to call it. You know, in the Bible, when it says prayer, it doesn't mean that just you say whatever you want and all that other stuff. That's not really what's going on. It's usually a word that's like, uh, one of the more common words is not always translated. Like in the Psalms, you see uh, the S-E-L-A-H. Mm -hmm. That's a word for prayer. This is a ritual prayer. You're standing in Semitic, in some Persian languages, you're standing in a place, you're vibrating particular hymns. You're making symbolic gestures. There's usually a prayer direction or multiple prayer directions. So you're talking about something specific. But anyway, so you got you got these rituals, and that's sort of like the next step. But then again, you can't you, you join in what seems best of what seems best. And then you have right. other stuff like 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 charity and doing stuff for other people, that sort of stuff, that category. And then you maybe have something severe like like trials, like going off into the mountains and staying still and fasting and that sort of stuff. And then you have straight up pilgrimages where it actually matters and that sort of stuff. But on the level of pilgrimage, this is also the level where you get married and stuff. And then you have the Martian area, which of course war is there, but mm -hmm. politics, if you do politics right, it doesn't have to get violent every time. Um, that, that's just, yeah, uh, that, you know, I, I was talking to a family member about how you can't say you can't say that people are all wrong. Then you don't, then you attract people to a movement because they're like, oh, I found out something good about Hitler, so I should become a neo Nazi. It's like, no, 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 dude, no. Um, but the, the uh, 
but you like it's, it's more of the striving level. It's more of the striving level. So there's the striving. And then you got the mastery. So the initial real stage of mastery where you're, um, where you're ready for politics. If you're, if you're able in terms of resources, you're sort of ready for that king role. The whole Jupiter thing. And people say, well, a lot of people's idea of God is limited to the Jupiter sphere. It really is. They don't go any further. It's like about like some guy on a throne, all that sort of stuff. And and maybe they have a son to help continue the kingdom and that sort of stuff. They really don't go any further. And of course, the son is the but the son in the tarot is really the bottom set. Uh, you know, you know, you got you got the princess, and then you got six, and then you got the queen and the king, and then you have something that's beyond that. But then again, when you talk about the king and the queen and the prince and the princess, you're not singing about incest. You're not. You're, you're not really saying that these things are gender. Um, what was the group called? Netra Nefra or something like that. There was, an, there was a group in California and one of the Order of Nine Angle books talk like one of their members killed the leaders. And that's why the group disappeared, which may actually be true. Um, there may be a, a member that we don't really know the name of that, that infiltrated the group and, and killed them in oh, yeah. California. They may have just fall off the, yeah. fell off the map because they got older. They weren't, uh, there wasn't, things are expensive in California or anywhere or anywhere. You can't, you can't always keep your cult going for whatever, just because you have, have a hundred people following you online and, and maybe some people in person for a meeting. It's, it just doesn't stay together necessarily for that. If you make it your life spiritual path, sure it does. And whether it's just you and your, uh, just you and, or however many people, it doesn't matter well i mean it's, it matters but you know what i mean it's it's going to be what it is what it is you know like the oto the oto long mile Duc talks about how the oto was literally just a handful of people in california um and a couple people in england and that was all that was left and they ended up being uh, the, it ended up being seven thousand members at some point and millions yeah. of people that follow crowley um yeah let me check find out what's why is it making noise at me? <laughs> um, Telling you. I just got the, I just got this phone, so I haven't I haven't got used to setting it the its features yeah. on and off and all that stuff. But the yeah. um, the uh, what what was what was I saying? Um, but yeah, yeah, it has millions of of, yeah. of of people looking into it and stuff now. And um, the. Uh, uh -huh. Just, just like Satanism, you don't have to be part of the church of Satan or Satanic Temple, and it's much, much bigger than that. And that most, of, and and it's usually not. People think that that's the main thing going on. It's really not. Um, but what, what what was what was my point? Any any anyways, there's there's certain levels, and then then you got the abyss, and you cross the abyss, and then there's the uh, on the other side of the abyss is the true nature of the Saturnal thing. It's not necessarily just you're eating the babies or or whatever whatever thing that people say. say. Uh, like back in the day, uh, part of the thing, they used to be like, oh, you don't talk about ritual sex. You don't talk about this and that and the other. So people talked about human, uh, there was human sacrifice, but they talked about it as a metaphor to this. Oh, oh, no, we don't do this. We eat babies. Uh, we, we, uh, we do this. Um, you know, some, some really even more messed up sounding stuff. But the... Uh, but anyways, it's, it's uh, you, you got the, you know, the queens, the queens and the tarot. Uh -huh. The whole Om Namah Shivaya Shivaya Namah Om. Yeah, I think I hit it just uh -huh. right. If you keep going at that and keep doing chants like that, you will literally feel this heady feeling like you're, like you're drifting, like you're, like you're drifting. And that's the whole point of the queens. The queen is you chop off the fake egos, all, uh, uh, you know, okay. it's, 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 you don't kill the ego. You have five false egos. And right. the five false egos, it's, and by the five false egos, I don't mean you can't be angry or you can't have desire or some, some nonsense like that. That's not what's being said. Is that these things are being, you're being mis misled in these categories. That's, that's, that's all it means. The ego is the mental construction yeah. of the consciousness. When you see the Native American things where there's this, where there's this uh, etched square, and there's a dot in the square. So the ego is the square. The real identity is the dot. And sometimes you have a cube and the Bible talks about the rock in the corner and in Mecca they have, it, 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 and, it, and the Ishmaelites, it's the, it's the thing down in Mecca. 
but they stopped doing pilgrimage to it at some point. So they kind of lost in the past 1200 years what it was about. Before that, they were pretty cool about saying where it was. Um, for uh, Oh, you go down to Yemen and it's, uh, it's, it's between Yemen and Israel. I mean, really Western Arabia between Yemen and Israel? Come on, where do you think you're going? But it wasn't, it, it was, it was, you're enacting your psychology. That's what that place is all about. You're enacting your psychology. But anyways, the, when you got the cube thing down straight, you're, uh, you're, you, you purified your ego. You're, you got the pure ego and of course you're headed towards the, the, yeah. the true identity, which is the Keter, the crown, the crown. Um, and then you have the stuff beyond the crown and all that, but you know, the, and then, then you have the king and sort of you deal with planets past Saturn, you know. <laughs> so what is it? Uranus, Neptune and Pluto is how people usually say it, or maybe they switch it a little bit around and say maybe Uranus is here because some people that sort of matches a bit more. But the tarot is basically built with that layout. You really don't have a tarot if you, if, you know, uh, but the septen the septenary system you've seen that you 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 got the one uh, the the sinister way book, and so these the Sakuntra order they have you know they have their twenty one path uh, they have their twenty one paths, but they have another path. They have the path down, which is Alastros, and they have the path above, um, which. So it's, it's the same thing. So they can have a tarot, you can have a tarot, uh, you can have a 23 card tarot with that system. Typically they'd have a 22 card tarot or they'd have a 21 card tarot and just have it in between each of the planetary spheres. So basic alchemical thing, ignoring earth. But earth and beyond, it really is, it's, it's, it's gonna lead you that direction. Earth and beyond. Um, um, but yeah, uh, the, 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 the tarot just summarizes the universe in those terms. And if you want to pick a different right. mythology, you pick those different mythology. It's like, it's like in, in the Noakian <laughs> system. You would have to have not 22 trunks. You'd have to have 30. You'd have to have the athers. Uh -huh. And maybe you can have the entire elemental tablet with that. But then again, if you, you have the keys is separate. So all the keys, all 48 of them, you could say the uns... Uh, are going to be represented there. Maybe you have the unspoken key. The back of the cards would have the Talbot of the Volgi. You'd have you'd have to have the seven enzymes. You have to have the holy table. You'd have to have maybe forty-eight call uh, forty-eight extra cards. That's the Libra Loa gig, and you'd have some cards as like a spare. You'd you'd have to have a lot more cards to have an, an Okie thing. But I saw I think at Barnes and Nobles had like a two hundred card deck that was like. Basically, short little witch ideas or something like that. It's more Wicca or something like that than witchcraft because there is a difference. But it, what? As in two hundred cards. That's quite a few. Was it? But, but, what, but what, what you was can do is you can, you can literally set down your temple. It's like impossible to uh, to shuffle a, a deck like that. But you can literally set yeah. down your uh, temple uh, with with your deck of cards, and you got everything there. You got your magic rings and your laments and 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 uh, well, I mean, if you're talking the Nokian deck, you're going to do that. The Schulers, the Schulers are interesting and colorful, but if you want to have things open towards yourself rather than just their system, they're not the people to go at. Mm -hmm. um, I talked, to, I did a series, I did, a, I released a series on this channel about my interpretation of their cards, and I show the deck and I give mm -hmm. just like I just like I do here. I did little poems to explain the cards. And so I shared that. My mother got really mm -hmm. upset when I did that. I, I, I don't know. I don't remember what year I did that. Maybe in 20 years ago. So it's like I was sharing it with my brother. And it's, she's like, I'm like, mother, you know that stuff in church and temple and stuff like that. They had the, um, those paintings. That's what it is. The alphabets yeah. and other stages and stations that they talk about in states that they talk about in, in, in church and stuff. That's what's going on. Now, if it, now, not as so there are right. people, there are people that think I have shuffled the deck, and that means that whatever it's shuffled into is is your future. No, you're putting meaning into it. You're taking meaning right. out, and you're and you're being responsible. Even if you are getting the message, it's like like if your neighbor's mm -hmm. like, Ew. you're like at least why, and why are you talking like yeah. that? You know that that's that's sort right. of. Uh, 
it, it's like if the message comes from the spiritual realm, you're still responsible for what you believe and do about this stuff. About this stuff, it's not the message has come. So you know, I heard a voice in the middle yeah. of the night and it told me this, and it's like you really can't leave yourself up to that. Whether you're Baptist or whatever, whatever, you're going to end up doing horrible things, maybe. And you just, you just can't leave it up to that. <laughs> Yeah. And you can't sacrifice yes. your own sense of accountability. You're not always going to be accountable. Now, this is going to stop any second. We, 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 could, we could take another 10 minutes and do another one if you want. Up to you. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that'll be fun. And...